welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing part two of my massive 2022 unhaul. I thought I was just going to have one video, but when I was done I realized I had one whole other bag still I hadn't talked about. And so I went to my parents' house a few more times and went through, you know, my books and I got another two bags. Plus there were a few books that I've read since then that I have decided I either got a different edition of or I just decided I'm not going to continue the series. Yeah, let's get into it. First off, I have two Fairy Lewis books and one of them I think I mentioned in last year's unhaul and I haven't put it up on my car yet so I need to do that. Hopefully I'll be able to do that this weekend. But I think this is the one. Fire with Fire by Destiny Soria. If you've been watching my channel for a while now, you know I read this. I gave it two stars. I wasn't impressed. It's not even that pretty of a book either. It's like not colors that I like. So I did give this book a chance. It failed. So I will be putting that on Makari hopefully soon. And this one here I haven't read yet, but it just doesn't sound interesting to me. So I have Year of the Reaper by Makia Lucifer. Lucier? I was going to say Lucifer. <laughs> Lucier. Uh, and this one comes with a signed book plate. And this is just, I think it has to do with this lord disappeared during the mist of war. And while he was on a mission entrusted to him by the king. And there's been a devastating plague that swept through the land. Yada yada yada. It just doesn't sound that interesting. This book I don't think is really that pretty in my opinion. But, you know, if you read this book and you liked it and you want a special edition of it, this will hopefully be on my Macari the same day that I post Fire with Fire. And then I have Allie Hazelwood, Love on the Brain. No, I'm not getting rid of this because I didn't love it. I gave this five stars. But I have the Book of the Month edition of The Love Hypothesis, and then they came out with the, the same edition in hardcover for this book. I would already bought this. I had already read it. <laughs> and I was just like, I need the Book of the Month edition. So I have a hardcover edition of this now, so I don't need the paperback. Then I have this proof, or what's it called? Arc of Ink and a Seagull, which I went off of Goodreads, and I did, I ended up getting the audiobook from Libby and listened to it in audiobook form, and it was okay. I think I ended up giving it three stars, but I liked it more so because of the accents than the actual story or anything like that. So I won't be continuing this, and since this was an ARC and it's the first in a series, I will probably put this in the little free library near my parents' house. Then I have Me Before You by Jojo Moyes. This is the only book of hers I've read, and I really did not like the ending of this. Like, I thought this was going to be like a happy romantic story, and it's not. It's depressing and sad and, you know, triggers for suicide. It was a good book, but it didn't have the ending I wanted, so therefore I'm never going to read it again. Then I have Hikari by Lola Rundi. Rundo. And this is like a love story between a demon fox and a human. And this I also won from Goodreads, and I don't even know if this book was edited. Like, it is atrocious. Like, every single page had multiple things wrong with it. And even the story was just okay, and it was like really short. It's 161 pages, so it could almost be considered a novella. Like it's, yeah, no, no. So I'm probably also, I don't really want to subject anyone to this because it was not enjoyable and it was just a pain with all of the incorrect editing or non-editing that existed in this. But I'll probably just put it in the free library because I definitely don't want to have someone pay to read this. Then I have this really beat up copy of A Little Princess, <laughs> which I have this exact same edition still sealed with like the lock the locket that came with it and I have a really nice edition up there the Barnes and Noble one so I think this one I will also put in the little free library maybe some young girl will find this read it and fall in love with it as much as I did then I have Lovely War by Julie Berry this one I got because Haley from Haley and Bookland I think is what her name is she was talking about how this was her favorite book, I think of, it was either 2020 or 2021. And she was going on about how amazing it was, and it was so good. I did not like it. I'll let you know. It's a war story. It takes place during World War I and World War II. The gods are talking about these two couples from World War I, but the gods are during World War II. So we have both great wars happening 
with like past and present for them timelines and it was just it was kind of really dark <laughs> and I was just like it, like you get like war violence in this also I was shocked to find out how African Americans were treated during World War One by their fellow like people who were on the same side as them I was like disgusted by that and it was sh I I just don't like it so it's it's gonna go to Wonder Book. Then I have Slingshot by Mercedes Helmwit Helway. And this is an arc of this that I won from Goodreads. So I think this one I am also going to put in the little free library. Oh, I did like this, but I'm never gonna read it again. Then I have The Wind Up Girl by Paolo Bassigalupi. It's a Hugo and Nebula award winning novel. This is like heavy sci fi. I thought, I think I got this at Goodwill. I was like, oh, this looks interesting. I'll give it a try. This was like on my DNF shelf for quite a while, and I finally picked it up and finished reading it. And it was okay. It wasn't terrible, but like sci fi for me, it has to hit more like Star Trek. Like you're on a ship exploring the universe. That's more what I like. Or you're on a ship and like people are turning into zombies. Or, you know, I like things that happen in space on ships off like xenon girl of the 21st century you have like stuff going on in the spaceship but then you also have stuff happening down here on earth and so this just takes place in like i guess you could kind of classify this as maybe dystopian but very heavy sci-fi dystopian and for that reason i'm going to sell it to wonder books we have brown girl dreaming by jacqueline woodson and this has won a whole bunch of awards and you know what it was a nice story i enjoyed it but it's basically poetry and I'm not really into poetry so I did read this I did enjoy it but I'll never read it again so it will also go to Wonder Books. Then we have The Girl with All the Gifts by M.R. Carey and this is a zombie story and I think this little girl Melanie is turning into a zombie throughout the book if I remember correctly and one of my friends I think Leanne had read this and was talking about how much she enjoyed it so I went ahead and picked up and read it and it was good, but yet again, zombies have to be in a certain way, done in a certain way, or I just don't enjoy it. It's too grotesque for me, or it's just, I don't know. So this will go to Wonder Books. Then we have The Shadow in the Glass by J.J.A. Harwood. And this is like a dark gothic reimagining of Cinderella. And for this one, it said that Ella makes a wish with her that her fairy godmother offers her. It's a demon. She makes a deal with the demon for all these wishes and they all like turn out bad and it, it's not a good book. I'm sorry. This was not what I was expecting. It's not what I signed up for. So yeah, it's gonna go to Wonder Books. Then we have War Room. Prayer is a powerful weapon. And I believe I watched the movie for this and liked it. And so I bought the book and read it. And it's a really good book. I really liked it. I forget there's something going on. And this lady makes this room where she like goes in there and prays. And then she's like encouraging other people to pray. To like help combat something that that's happening. That's I guess going. I can't remember exactly. And she, is, she starts fighting for her family instead of against her husband. Yeah, I don't remember, but it's about the power of prayer, basically. And it was really good, but I don't think I'm ever going to read it again. Then I have Mercedes Lackey, The Snow Queen. And this one, I did like it, but it's missing a page. <laughs> I know, right? Big deal. It's missing one page. But I went and bought the Kindle edition of this, and it has all of the pages. So I don't need this anymore. So this is going to go to Wonder Books. Then I have Before I Go to Sleep by S.J. Watson. And this was actually really good. This was a thriller about this woman who has like lost her memory and she like can't remember her husband or like their house or anything like that. And she's like taking notes and like seeing, a, I think she's secretly seeing a psychiatrist and like figures out like the, the stuff that's going on and it's crazy. And I really enjoyed it, but I don't really like to reread re thrillers a lot unless it's been like years because I'll remember the ending and then it's not like shocking anymore. You know? So it will go to Wonder Books. Then we have The Woman in Black by Susan Hill. Another one. I watched the movie. I've read the book. I liked it. But it's like a ghost story, thriller thing. And once you, once I read it, it's no fun to read again. Plus, it's not like a super nice copy or anything either. So this will go to Wonder Books. Then we have William Shakespeare, Much Ado About Mean Girls by Ian Dosher. So this is basically 
they took Mean Girls and fused it with Much Ado About Nothing. And it was cute, but am I ever going to read this again? No. It was like a nice, cute, quick read that was enjoyable. And I did like the cover, so this will be going to Wonder Books. Then I have The Proposal by Jasmine Guillory. And this I read, I did really like. I think I actually gave this one four stars. But I don't think I'm ever going to read it again. And it's a ma mass market paperback, so it's not like it's even aesthetically pleasing for my shelves. So this will go to Wonder Books. Then I got a arc of Every Heart a Doorway by Shauna McGuire from Goodreads. And I now have all of these books in hardcover. I don't need this anymore. So since this is an arc and I got it for free, this will also go in the Little Free Library. And then I have the Shannara Chronicles, The Elfstones of Shannara by Terry Brooks. I started watching this TV series and I think it ended up only being two seasons. Love the first season. The second season, not so much. And the book was just okay too. So yeah, this is going to go to Wonder Books. Then I have The Novice. Uh, which is the Summoner Book 1 by Taran Matharu. But this, I went and bought along with this here, Cinder. These came in like a box set at Barnes & Noble. It was like $3 for, for books that were all the first in the series. Well, I already have Cinder and I'm planning on getting rid of it because I've read the entire series except for like Stars Above and Fairest. When once I finish it all, I'm probably going to be selling it on Macari. So I don't need a second copy of this. And I'm pretty sure my other copy has a bunch of short story. And this one I wasn't interested in. So I basically bought the box set to get the first book in the Remnant Chronicles. And then they also had the, the first of the Shadow and Bone series with the new cover. So I kept that one too. But these I don't need. So they are going to go to Wonder Books. And then I have Grey Matter by Gary Braver. And I think this is, I think I started reading this. My mom like bought it or borrowed it from someone. And I started to read it and I never finished it. And I think like a girl gets kidnapped or something and like her brain, either she gets a brain put in her or yeah, it has to do with this medical procedure and to turn slow children into geniuses. And it has to do, I think, with swap swapping kids brains or something like that. So it was interesting, but I like read half the book like so many years ago, probably back when I was like in high school. And I think I got this copy from like Goodwill or something. And I just don't think I'm ever going to read it. Like... <laughs> I've been out of high school now for like 16 years? Over a decade. Like I just don't think I'm ever getting back to this. So this can um go to Wonder Books. Then I have, if you're reading this, it's too late. I got these because I thought they would be fun, but I really don't read that much middle grade. I've again had this one for years on my shelf, along with the name of this book is Sweet Secret. And I never got book three. And I just don't think I'm ever going to get around to this, so it can go to Wonder Books. Then I have War by Cora Carmack. And this one I did like, but I didn't love. Like, the writing style is just very slow. But I like the idea. This is, like, people who have elemental powers, and this princess who didn't think that she had any, like, discovers that she does. And it kind of gave me, like, Aladdin vibes, but... I just didn't love it, so I'm not going to continue it, so this can go to Wonder Books. Then I have The Revenge of the Shadow King by Derek Benz and J.S. Lewis. And this is another, like, middle grade that I thought was a series I would get into and really like. Never did. I didn't, I didn't even read it, so <laughs> this can go to Wonder Books. Then I have The Edge Chronicles Beyond the Deep Woods by Paul Stewart and Chris Riddle. Which I know Chris Riddle does very beautiful artwork, which this does have some very nice artwork in it. But again, middle grade series, I have never read it. Been on my shelf for years, so I can go to Wonder Books. I have Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, and this is a really beat up old cup copy. I think I got this from Goodwill. I'm pretty sure it's probably where I got it. But I watched the movie and I loved it, but I never read the book, and I don't think I ever will. So, Wonder Books. Then I have The City of Falling Angels, and I recently, was it last year I finished reading Midnight in the Garden of Eden, or sorry, Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil by John Brent or something, and I didn't really like that book. It was okay. It was like a, it was like a true crime novel, and I think this is another true crime one, but it's set in like Venice in 1996. And it takes place in Paris, and it's about the fire that destroys the Venice Opera House. But 
Yeah, I just don't think I'm ever going to get around to reading it. So I can go to Wonder Books. We have The Great Angel War, book one of the God Chronicles by Larry S. Jorovac. Jer this one I remember reading and I liked it, but I didn't think it was very biblically accurate because in this one, they have where God assigns the angels to, like, test creating things. And they have like almost like little labs where they're like trying to create life. And so they're God's having the angels do creation instead of himself. And it was just, it was weird. I'm pretty sure this is the one. It says the, the book is an epic battle of good versus evil. Read about the angel armies in heaven, the great angel war, Lucifer's fallen rise, strange new worlds, mutilated species, angel challenges, God's last prophet, and much more. I think the, the angel challenges is where he was, like, having them create things. So, it was interesting, but mm, I'm, I'm not going to continue it. So, this is going to go to Wonder Books. Then I have a Jacoby by William Ritter. I did read this. I really liked it. But they had, like, this really good sale where they had, like, all the books for, like, I think $1.99 on the Kindle. So, I just went and bought all four books for my Kindle. I was like, hey, save space. Cheap. <laughs> I don't need the physical copy anymore because I have all of them on my Kindle. This was a really good, like, Victorian era mystery series that I think is set around the time of Jack the Ripper, if I remember. But I need to finish reading the series because it was really good. But this is going to go to Wonder Books. If you watched my most recent haul video, you'll know I got a hardcover copy of Legend by Marie Lou. So I don't need the paperback. So this will go to Wonder Books. Then I have How to Be a Scottish Mistress by Adrian Basso. And this, I read it, I really enjoyed it, but it's a romance novel, mass, mass market paperback, blah, 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 mass market paperback, and I just don't think I'm ever going to read it again, so it can go to Wonder Books. I'm going to drink some tea, because I think my tongue is getting dry. <laughs> then we have The Book Thief by Marcus Zuzak, and I read this, I guess like five years ago, or maybe it's longer than that now. My husband and I have been together for a total of 11 years. Yeah, so no, I probably read this nine, nine or nine-ish years ago. And it was interesting, but again, it's like a book that takes place during World War II, so it's dark. There's, you know, all the horrible things that happen in war, and it's just not my thing. So it's going to go to Wonder Books. And I have Days of Splendor, Days of Sorrow by Juliet Gray. And this is a novel about Marie Antoinette. And I did enjoy this. I think it did take me a while to read, though. And it's not like I loved it. So it's going to go to Wonder Books. Then we have Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen. And this is, I think it's a romance set in a circus, if I remember correctly. And they made a movie into it that has um, Robert Patterson playing the male lead. And I enjoyed this book, but I honestly don't remember that much about it. So, like, I don't think I'm ever going to read it again. It's not like The Night Circus, where I do want to read that one again. So this will go to Wonder Books. Then I have Love, Love, Love by Deborah Reber and Caroline Good. And this is two sweet stories about finding your one true love. So this is like two stories in one. I've never read this. I don't know how long I've had it. And someone might appreciate it more than me. So it's going to go to Wonder Books. Now we're going to get to a lot of Phil Philippa Gregory books. Because I watched The Other Bolin Girl. Or the other Bolin. I think it's the other Bolin girl. Anyway, that that had Natalie Portman and the girl who plays Wh Black Widow. Or I should say the woman that plays Black Widow now. Johansson? I forget what her name is. But that movie that, that was during Henry VIII. And I loved it. So I got the book that corresponded with the movie and I liked it too. But I went and collected so many of these books. Kind of like with Stephen King. And I just don't think I'm ever going to read them. I did keep one like, series that's set during, like, I think the 18, 1800s over in, like, America, I believe. Like, they were just up in, like, Southern Belle outfits. Like, it might be during the Civil War or something like that. So I kept that series because that one sounds really good. But the other ones can go. So this is The Virgin's Lover, and this takes place in 1558, which, not my favorite time period. So, but this is a gorgeous cover. Her books are very pretty, but this will go to Wonder Books. Nice. Then I have this nice hardcover edition of the Bolin Inheritance that has beautiful deckled edges. And is this a first edition? I might sell this one on Macari, I'll see. It doesn't say what edition it is. 
but I might sell this one on on Macari because it's still in really good condition it just has like an eight dollar price here in the corner written on it which i mean i could probably take a pencil and get rid of it but i won't then i have the constant princess by philippa gregory and this one takes place okay so this is about catherine of aragon known to history as the queen who was pushed off her throne by anne Boleyn. here's a catherine the world has forgotten the enchanting princess that all england loved first married to Henry VIII's older brother. So this might take place during or previously to the other Bowling girl. But yeah, this one will go to Wonder Books. Then I have The Other Queen. And this one, I think is about Mary Queen of Scots. Yes, this one is about Mary Queen of Scots, which I do like Mary Queen of Scots. Like I really like that um CW show that was on. I don't remember what it's called, but I really like that one. And I actually need to finish watching it, but I don't think I'm ever going to read this, so Wonder Books, it shall go. Then I think I had to get this for college. Sun Yet Sen, Seeking a Newer China by David B. Gordon. And I'm pretty sure I had to get this for either my Chinese culture class or one of my Asian history, uh, history classes I took. Because I took like four Asian history classes. <laughs> I didn't have to. I just did. As like electives and things. So yeah, I don't need this anymore. So it can go to Wonder Books. Then we have The White Queen by Philippa Gregory. And I think this one I actually probably bought at like Walmart or Rice. And I just <laughs> never read it. So it looks like this might take place during the War of the Roses. This is a brand new book that's never been read. <laughs> but it will go to Wonder Books. Then I have the name of this book is Secret. So this is the one I was talking about earlier. I don't think I'm ever going to read this series. So it can go to Wonder Books. This is another one I think I had to get for college called uh, Things Fall Apart by Chinua Akebe. And I read this and it was interesting, but I'm never going to read it again. So I can go to Wonder Books. Then I have Ender Games, Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. And this was good. I also watched the movie, which is interesting. But I just don't think I'll ever read it again or continue with any of the other books in the series. So it can go to Wonder Books. And then the very last one is another by Yukito Ayasuchi and this is a light novel that this I believe another has also been made into a manga and an anime series I've only read the light novel and I believe this is like a ghost story if I remember correctly yeah so it's about this boy named Koichi who is placed in the curse class three in which the student body headcount is always one more than expected Class 3 is haunted by a vengeful spirit responsible for gruesome deaths in an effort to satisfy its spite. To stop the vicious cycle gripping his new school, Koichi decides to get to the bottom of the curse, but is he prepared for the horror that lies ahead? And, like, it was okay. I kind of, I mean, I kind of should just keep it because it's a light novel, but I'm never going to read it again, and I honestly don't remember that much, and I don't really like ghost stories, so it can go to Wonder Books. Or... It might go Makari. I'll see if it's out of print or not. But yeah, so that is it. <laughs> Eventually, I will have to fully go through all of the books at my parents' house. But until then, this is what I'm unhauling. Also, as I probably read stuff, things might change because as I read them, I go, oh, this was nicer and I didn't like it, so let me get rid of it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel down below. And also, I now have a Discord channel. If you would like to talk to me about books or join my book club, Happily Ever Afters, all of that is takes place over at my Discord channel, so I will leave a link to that down below. And also, let me know if you're shocked by any of the books that I am unhauling were some of these like ones that you really like that you just can't believe that I would get rid of. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching and I hope you have a wonderful good day or night and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye!